Good morning, modern steaders. We need to load up the trailer with the mule and one of the attachments we got shipped in last night. I haven't even opened the crate yet, guys. Let's go over here and check it out. I, we should probably wait to open the crate. Now, you know what, let's open the crate now. Then we can get it over closer to the trailer with the tractor after. We've been waiting for these for a little over two weeks now. I was contemplating what we needed to get the pasture raked out, lawn, whatever you want to call it, over at the Offred Property Homestead site. Yee! Look at that. So we have a seven foot by eight foot drag harrow here dragging up the new area. We're gonna use it behind the mule to see how that works. I'm not sure how it's gonna go. It looks like we have to build it, but you know what? I'll see what we need and we'll assemble it up at the off-grid property because it'll be easier to move it while it's in pieces. Guys, we got to put this down. Come on. There. You need to have that locked in place, otherwise your trailer is gonna do what mine just did. It's gonna flop up in the air off the ball. All right, now we can load the mule. Normally when I rake out our areas to make pasture or lawn, I usually use a York rake behind my Kubota. And I could use this drag behind the Kubota, but I figured I'm gonna try using the mule because it's got a cab on it and I have a feeling it's gonna be a pretty dusty job. So I figure if we can be in a cab, it'll be a lot nicer. Oh yeah, she's not going anywhere. All right, we'll meet you up at the off-grid property. We made it up to the off-grid property. Trying to come up with a game plan for starting. We have a big area here to rake. We got all over this side, which will be pasture for the animals. Over here is gonna be the house stuff, and then down below will be more pasture and a pond. So we need to start small. I'm thinking if we start up in this corner and work our way, maybe try to get from like here to this rock, come down and get this one area raked out, try it. I do know that area is more work this area and then come over here and maybe just do it in like chunks yeah, you have to be that way we can feel like we accomplished something because i feel like if we try to rake the whole thing at once in like one big swoop at the end of the day or whatever it's gonna be like that's all i got done so i think if we start small it'll feel like we accomplished more it's one of those things it's like how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time you got to start somewhere and work your way up
like an ocean breeze today. We're going to start off doing a small area first with the drag. I've never used one of these before, so I want to make sure this is going to work and not make more of a mess. our first little pass let's see what it looks like yeah actually looks perfect that's what we want we'll have to go around and pick up some sticks but that's not bad at all we want to get all this stuff smoothed out like this and then we can put the grass seed in there yeah all right let me finish making one pass we'll see how that looks
thought it was going to. I'll have to go through and get out some of the little roots here and there, but that's smoothing it out nicely. I didn't know how the mule was gonna pull it, but the mule's pulling it fine. I didn't know if it'd be too much for it, but it's not. Now we get to go around and pick up all the little sticks and little rocks that I pulled up when I was dragging. And then we'll do it one more time, but it is looking good. I gotta give it to the guy who ran the excavator. He did an awesome job getting this all cleared and smoothed up. It's looking real nice with just one pass. So we got a little pile right now. That's gonna get a lot bigger. That is looking really good. We got some bigger roots in here that we gotta come up with the sawzall and cut back. There's still some small roots here and there, but when the grass starts growing, we can mow those roots and they'll mow easy. It's either that or we'd have to take an ax to every single one and break them off and I'm not worried about it. The Kubota will mow that back and it'll just add more biomass to the area, more stuff that's gonna break down and add good rich organic material to the soil. So we're gonna leave these couple of piles here for now. We'll get those later. We're gonna start raking out the next area. It's looking good. I'm talking about you, you're looking good.
So we're just getting some really cool shots with the drone. I had it on follow me mode. I had it out in the field thinking we're not gonna have an issue. Well then it crashed. Gina just found it. It's way out here in the woods. I don't know why it went way out here in the woods, but we can see the red lights. Gina picked those up. We gotta go find out if it's damaged or not. I hope we can still fly it. All right, I just saw the red lights. Oh, there it is. We're way out here in the woods. I don't know why it was way out here, but it is. Oh, we got some dirt on it, some scuff marks. Got some a cracked propeller, but let's see if it'll fly. All right. Nothing looks broken. It's got some scuffs, but... It's doing its thing. I was gonna say, you're gonna put on follow me mode again? It's a little dusty. I'm glad we got the enclosed cab for the mule. It keeps us from getting covered in dust. That mule's been doing really good using the drag behind it. It's not putting a lot of strain on the machine. So I'm happy with the outcome. The field is looking great. So this is where we're gonna have to stop for right now. I'll see you guys right back here in a second in the morning. What a difference a day can make. Yesterday was almost 90 degrees. Here it is 57 degrees out right now. We got about a quarter of an inch of rain last night. I didn't know what we would drive up into here this morning with all the rain. I didn't know if it got washed out, but it's looking good. The ground's a little wet, which I like that. I just got in the mule and man, look how dusty that is. This thing's gonna need a good cleaning when we're done. That's for sure. I need to get some windshield wipers for this. I haven't been able to find a model windshield for this that has wipers. I can't put wipers on this windshield because it's plastic and the wiper would just scratch it. So we gotta use paper towels. I remembered the ply is to fix the drag and then I picked up some fish food last night so we can feed the trout. That's gonna be fun. I'm hoping these pliers get a long enough handle so I can bend these shut. Nope, not that one. Maybe this one. Yuck. Let's try something else. Oh, bummer, I didn't bring it. I had a sledgehammer in the back of my truck, but I had to take it out 
Last night I had to go pick up some other supplies. I needed the bed, and then I forgot to put it back in. So maybe my little hammer will work. If not, we'll have to wait till tomorrow. It should be a lot less dusty today as we're dragging. It's gonna be interesting to see how it works with all the ground being wet today, if it's better or if it's worse, for what we're trying to accomplish. Man, I always had stories about the city life and the crazy nights. Figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to back home Cause up here it's pregnant Paycheck Brad race What's next? I'm tired of feeling like a small fish in a big pond I think I go back where I came from Where everybody knows my name My friends are still the same I guess the slow life is just right Like a bonfire on Would you look at that? Oh. It's it's looking so good. We still got roots and rocks to pick up, but we're getting there. Oh, I can't wait till we have it all done and grass and grass growing. I know it's gonna be a while still, but man, what a difference it is making. We're gonna go around, pick up some rocks and roots. The fun part begins now. We just got done dragging for another time. It's pretty chilly out right now. It's about 40 degrees out, so I got my winter hat on. So we got done dragging one more time the whole pasture. Now we gotta go around and start picking up some of the rocks. The drag is holding up well. I've had to go around and empty it a few times, but all in all, I'm really impressed. Some of the hooks, like this one got bent over. There's a few hooks here and there that have been bent over. Those ones got bent a couple of times like you saw me fixing. But 
all in all, it's going good. The mule is dragging it well. We've been going between like five and eight miles per hour. We haven't had any issues with the mule. I'm just barely putting my foot on the gas, so it's not like it's a big drag on it. So we're liking the way it looks. Now we just need to continue picking up rocks and sticks. The mule is gonna need a bath, but I am so glad we have the enclosed cab. It keeps us from eating so much more dust. Mm. place to dump all these sticks that's not gonna be in our way I'm gonna put some right here for now and then just looking I can probably eh, maybe I can back up over there and dump them over there this is the animal side we'll have pasture and their outbuildings over here so all down in here we could fence that in and the goats would like that for all the bramble but I think we can dump some sticks over here and they won't be in our way looking really well over here there's not as many roots over here there's a bunch of little rocks like this we'll pick up what we can but we'll leave probably a lot of them because they're gonna be never-ending little pieces of wood like this we'll leave we got little rocks but not too bad we'll grab the big stuff like this the mower will not like that I was gonna come back and get it. I think you hit the jackpot. I did? I don't think it was that There's a bear right out here, Gina said. Look at that. Look at the bear. Hey, bear. What are you doing, mister? Huh? What are you doing? I don't even care that I'm over here. Hey, bear.
What are you doing? Stay away from our chickens. There's the house. There was the bear right down the road. That was a little close to the house. I'm glad it didn't go and see the chickens. I'll have to keep our eye out and see if it comes back. We weren't expecting to see a bear here at the homestead. Gina was cooking dinner, looked out the window, and was like, what? A black bear? I can't believe that, it's pretty wild. We've been seeing him up at the off-grid property. I haven't shown him to you guys yet. I think I got some footage of that on, the, on a video, or on camera at least. I'll have to go back and see if I can find it. We saw a mama and her cub up at the off-grid property, and then we saw, I'm gonna say that was probably a last year's cub that just got kicked out of being with its mother, because she probably had a new cub this year. That's my guess, but oh, it's so it's always nice to see wildlife. We have a lot of big things coming up, guys. The next video, I'm excited to share with you what we got coming here on the homestead. It's gonna be good. A lot of new projects up and coming. It feels good to starting to get the property raked out. Get some. We're gonna get some grass seed up there. We can't wait to get moving forward, and everything is starting. It's been a long process. Everything's been working out with you know what's been going on, I don't wanna say it. There's been a lot of strange things happening and a lot of things that we can't get or things cost a lot more money and things just take longer. So the process has been slowed down and we're working with it, just is taking a little bit longer. So thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. I know that's not just for us, it's everywhere it's going on. So you guys are dealing with the same things, I know, so. We'll get through it and we'll look back on these days, one of these times when we're talking to our grandkids or our great-great-grandkids and be like, remember when? Yep, it'll make for some good stories. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres. Bye.